Lists are a built-in data type in Python that are used everywhere. To create a list, we write a list literal. To bind that list value to a name, we just use an assignment statement. So here are some odd numbers. I can get the element at index 0, or 1, or 2, or 3. I can also get the number of elements. Now notice that the index of the last element is one less than the length of the elements. So the right way to think about this index is the offset from the beginning. Offset of 0 from the beginning is just the beginning. And then this is uh, 1 after that, and 2 after that, and 3 after that. Now this is just a call expression. This is an element selection expression where you have some expression that gets evaluated that gives you a list, and then you have to evaluate the index. So it is possible to put arbitrary expressions in either of these places, and also to combine the results in any way that I want. So I could say odds 3 minus odds 2, and that gives me the number 2. I could then use that as an index into odds. So that means you can put an arbitrary expression here, which gets evaluated first, an arbitrary expression there, which gets evaluated second, and then once you have the value here, which is a list, and the value here, which is an integer, you can look up the particular element in the list. So when working with lists, we use list literals. We can also write expressions to describe each element in the list. And in this case, digits would be bound to lists that were equal regardless of whether we wrote down the numbers or expressions that evaluate to those numbers. To get the number of elements, we ask for the len of the list. Len is a built-in function. If I want to find an element selected by its index, I can use element selection syntax, or I can use the getItem function in the operator module, which has the same effect. In order to combine two lists together, or form repetitions of lists, I actually just add and multiply. So if I say the list 27 plus the digits list times 2, multiplying the digits list times 2 just replicates its elements twice. And then adding those to the end of list 27 gives me one long list with 10 elements. I could also use the add and mull functions from the operator module. Finally, the elements of a list need not be integers. They could be anything, including other lists. So here I have a list literal with two other nested list literals. What I create is a list with two elements, each of which are lists with two elements, which are integers. And so asking for element number one of pairs gives me this element which is a list with 30 and 40. So here, you see that there is a combined expression, in this case an element selection expression, giving me a list, which I then select an element from in order to get the number 30.